If the flourishing SME segment in the country has never been more empowering in the new normal as we break through with resilience and grit to recover and adapt to digitalization through the entrepreneurial spirit. In a time when community sellers, home-based businesses, and aspiring local entrepreneurs are responding to the daily needs of Filipinos today, data connectivity has never been more significant for everyday living. Converge Business SME Services is at the forefront of this breakthrough. From the humble beginnings of Dennis Uwe, Converge Business aims to serve the underserved, believing that we can grow our own small businesses, that we are all SMEs. Making Converge Business as your primary source can boost your advantage and growth. With its world-class fiber optic network, micro-entrepreneurs gain more advantage in the current digital arena with robust technology that can seize opportunities to go all digital. Entrepreneurs humbly begin with a vision to grow and expand through their passion and determination. In the competitive business landscape, small to medium enterprises need to adapt services and products to reach more Filipinos here and around the world. As a primary provider, Converge is a world-class ICT company with the most resilient and superior fiber optic service in the Philippines that continues to delight millions of its users in the consumer space, serving a growing number of business clients in the SME, enterprise, and wholesale segment. Converge Business is for SMEs, providing a partnership that offers subscription models that allow businesses more options and flexibility. It is your own gateway to the world, a partner to springboard your success. Leveraging on our strong network architecture, Converge Business can provide impactful broadband solutions to your business. With Converge Business SME services, equip your business with the right tool to jumpstart your progress to the next level. We leverage on innovative technologies to bring you what matters. Results. It is time to be in control. Converge Business SME services. Results mean progress. You know, the Filipino entrepreneur is innovative, you know, that's one, you know, and they are very creative also. That's our things, you know, and not just on that, they are really thinking out of the box. You are innovative guy, you know, you deep thinkers. So when the pandemic hit us, this SME, if they have fast thinker, fast innovate and fast transform went to digital there's a lot of opportunity when you have the basic requirement to transform in the digital during this pandemic is the digital highway which is lucky enough this is my business and we built this digital highway for the transform of this assembly You know, I think this is sort of like a uh, survival. Eh? No? Well, when you start in a hardship, in a, you grew up with a hardship. No? During my young, younger age, hindi ko na tigman yung tipong you have this uh, good opportunity to play with your classmates. Whatever spare of time I have, I want to maximize my time. When I start, I start really small. No? This is really uh, SME type. My technical, I have employee number one stay with me. I'm the one driving and climbing the pole to lay down these wires. No? I still you know, 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 start with the dial of this. I mean, yeah, I'm yeah. and innovation of cable internet, innovation of fiber. So now in the cloud. So you can see the whole landscape. Without this fiber technology, this new digital highway we built, you cannot that have quality of connection. 
digital uh, broadband, digital uh, communication nowadays is very essential. And if you notice, even your rich or your poor, you know, they need a stable, high-speed and quality connection. Right ng tao na meron access ng high quality of broadband. When there's a crisis, there's always an opportunity. So, the pandemic hit us. This is a crisis the whole world. No? So, that's why important you are really ready for your infrastructure. We found our service become a lifeline of the individual because of you need to have a quality and stable connection. No? And good thing, during this pandemic, we put more resources. This should be a right to aid individual usage. No? regardless of uh, what business you have, big or small. But if you ask me to advise SME how they can be successful in the business, number one, you need to have a passion in, uh, in your business. Number two, you need to have a deep knowledgeable on your line of business. Don't come to the business you don't understand. They just tell you, oh, this kind of business is a follow. There is no such thing successful. You just follow someone. We link the whole uh, country and this underserved and unserved area. Uh, we make sure uh, by uh, 2023 or 2024, we will reach them. We give them a digital highway. The digital highway, we have to, them to connect to the whole, not just on the Philippines, the whole world. This is the digital highway virtually. You can see, you can bring your business in virtual world. So that's the key role of the Converge now. Good day, everyone, and welcome to Converge Let's Talk Flexi Business. I'm Addy, and I will be your host for today's very special event. Now, before we start with our program, I would like to remind everyone present in the Zoom to please rename yourselves in Zoom to your registered full names so we can identify you. Now, please be reminded as well to mute your microphones to avoid unnecessary noise program. Now, if you need any assistance with this, you may chat with any of our co-hosts in the Zoom or simply type your questions in the chat box. Now, if you are all settled, let's begin! So, magandang hapon ulit sa inyong lahat. Sana ay nakakain na kayo ng lunch ninyo. And I see that we have a lot of guests today. And of course, we want to know kung taga saan kaya ang ating mga guests ngayon. Ayan. So, alamin natin. Mag-attendance check muna tayo. All you have to do is to type in the chat box kung tag... Yeah, so all you, all you have to do is to type in the chat box kung taga saan ka at kung saan kilala o sikat ang lugar ninyo. Ayan. Okay, so ako muna, taga Quezon City po ako and we are known as the biggest city here in the Philippines. Ayan, ang laki-laki talaga ng Quezon City. Oh, Alright, so let me know. Ayan, may mga nagtatype na hello to Lian. Good afternoon from Masbate. Wow, so we have uh, someone from Top Home Source of Bon. So we have John from Legaspi. You are known for Mayon. Ayan. So we have Benson, Culinary Capital. Wow! Wow! Thank you so much. Oh, ang dami nagsamasagot. So we have Teresita from Magallanes, Sorsogon. Meron naman tayo from Vegan City, si Alemar. Ayan. So thank you guys so, so much. Of course, thank you for all your wonderful answers. Now, if you have noticed, every one of us has their own different answer as to what is 
popular in our own community. Yung isa naman, di ba, pagkain. Yung iba naman, mayon volcano, di ba? So, madami-dami talaga. And of course, what is common among these is that it is not fixed. There will always be something new that emerges. New trends that develop as time marches on, as they say. And businesses today must now learn to adapt to these changes and know how to stay one step ahead of the trends and the competition. And with the proper knowledge and skills, one can easily learn the trends and analyze the competition. But to emerge on top requires something more. It requires the mindset of a champion and a challenger. One who is ready to succeed, to fail, and to bounce back. That is why today we are going to know more about the post-pandemic businesses in today's topic, Building a Post-Pandemic Business Plan. We also have a very special promo for today where those who apply during today's event will get free installation service. Odeva, what a great deal! Interested applicants must fill out the application form and submit requirements within seven days to avail of the free installation promo. So you guys must be part of the registration database to qualify. Now for viewers who are interested to apply for Converge Internet, we will also be discussing more details later in our breakout session. Express your intent to apply and ask your queries to our Converge representatives in our breakout session. And of course, we are also going to have a raffle draw where we will be giving away lots of prizes. So for today, we will be giving away 1,000 worth of EGCs to one lucky winner. Isn't that exciting? And on top of that, we will be giving away a major prize of 3,000 worth of EGCs for one lucky winner. Kaya abangan nyo yan mamaya. And we also have a feedback form that we encourage everyone to answer in the latter part of the program. Now, for those of you who have filled out this form, you actually get a chance to win 1,000 worth of EGCs. Now, remember that substance is key. So only the feedback with the most substance are qualified for this giveaway. So don't forget to put some thought into the form when you submit it at the end of the program. First, I want to make sure na lahat kayo may chance para manada ng ating 1,000 worth of EGCs. Okay, so ito talaga yung tip ko sa inyo, yung mga feedback form nyo, pag sinubmit nyo, kailangan talaga and make sure na malaman-laman talaga yung feedback nyo, diba? We want to know your insight, we want to know what you like, what you didn't like, diba? Because we really want to know what you thought of our event today, o diba? So para manalo, along, so of course, para manalo, uh, that is what you need to do, okay? And don't forget, we are also on Facebook. Ayan, you can visit us on Facebook. Our Facebook page is Converge for SME for more business tips and updates. All right. And now to officially welcome all of you, let us give a virtual round of applause to the National Sales Director for SME, Aldridge Blue Aldridge. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, very happy to be with you here today and walking you through the many, many advantages of getting a true fiber connection for your businesses. And and kinikilig ako kasi ang daming mga sumasali. You know, I mean, nung simula kami nito, maniwala kayo sa hindi, parang 24 people lang yung sumasali sa aming uh, uh, noon, noon pa quarterly uh, Let's Talk Plexi visit. So right now, kinikilig ako kasi may mga taga Fairview, may mga taga Mindoro, may taga Ilocos, meron taga Agusan. Um, kasi talaga kinikilig ako mga taga Quezon. So, so good afternoon, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Blue. Ako po ang nagbabantay sa uh, business institution sa Converge ICT. So bago po, ka, bago po tayo magsimula, Gusto ko lang mag-hello at mag-shoutout kay, <laughs> kay uh, Miraculous Medal School Incorporated, Sir Eric John Ambat. Thank you for joining us today. And saying hello also to ERC International Sales Incorporated, Mr. Ismael Salvador, good afternoon. Santa Faustina Lying in Medical Diagnostic Center, Miss Elaine Fulgencio. Hello, how are you? Good afternoon to you. Uh, you are dry goods storytelling, Miss Rosie Laxa. 
How are you? Good afternoon, Ma'am Rosie. Um, Lani Elpides of Fit20 Corporation. Thank you for attending us this afternoon. At uh, mga kapatid natin sa Bacolod. Hello, hello to Hello, hello to Marketing One Unlimited, Angeles Nar Narazo, Coleo San Agustin, Bacolod, Charity Rojo, uh, Bacolod City National High School, Jeff Villian, Coleo San Agustin, Bacolod, Tyrone Adrokiko, Bacolod City Government, Annaline Saison. Yeah, then Bohol, meron din tayo mga bisita from Bohol. Future 21 Real Estate Management Services, Christian Bolo, Ta, Bolo Taolo from Iloilo, Sign Nation Advertising, Ma'am Christine Joy, Bison Management Corporation, Miss May, hello, good afternoon, and from Capis, Mr. Uh, Venice Eatery, Mr. Jose, Daol National High School, Ma'am Nemi, and finally, L Jeans Marketing Company, Ma'am Miralin. So that's just a few of the of our guests nationwide in our flexible session today. So, may kakwento lang ako sa inyong saglit. A uh, few slides bago tayo mag... Uh, bago kayo pumasok sa isang napakasayang uh, session this afternoon. So, I'll, I'll just share my screen. All right. Okay, so uh, just to tell you a bit about myself, um, happily married father of three, I'm a Christian, and I've been selling, bringing technologies to business, software, hardware, applications for the past 25 years. Okay, and, and magkwentuhan nga tayo kasi ang, this slide is showing you that in 2017, we were being tagged as having the slowest internet speed in the Asia Pacific. So if you take a look at this, number one is South Korea, Hong Kong, Singapore, and si Pilipinas na sa pang 100 na siya at 5.5 average Mbps. And that was five years ago. So, ang, ang, I mean, dati nga sa bahay, kung maka 3 Mbps ka, okay ka na. But, what is the current state right now? Because when they were tracking the internet infrastructure in the Philippines, something happened that since the entry of a new company, a uh, very, very young company with the latest technologies, they noble ang speed ng internet. Okay? And the investment continues, looking at billions and billions of people a billions and billions of pesos in infrastructure investment. At hanggang 2021, umakyat ang internet speed ng Pilipinas. And on tracking, continuously we are rising. In fact, if you take a look, this is the latest report from quarter 4 of 2021. The speed of the Philippines right now is at parity with a lot of developed countries at 50 Mbps. We're still not number one, but it is still a huge leap from where we were four years ago, na halos 5.5 lang ang internet connection. And this company is Converge ICT. Converge ICT is a disruptive company. We came in, we gave fiber to the Filipinos. We raised the bandwidth capacity. And when we did that, everyone else followed suit meaning all the other players followed our actions. And that led to the improvement of the internet connections in the Philippines. So, OPPO, it's a digital age right now, entering the fourth revolution of businesses. But kasi kami po sa Converge ICT, we're very humble folk here. Um, we've worked tirelessly, all 3,000 employees, focusing on a single product na itong produkto na to ay ang wired internet services. Wala kaming wireless, wala kaming voice because we think that there's a lot of effort needed to give true internet to Filipinos nationwide. 
So we already have close to 1.7 customers and households, 45,000 businesses, and we service the public sector, education, enterprise. So, amo kasi, hindi, hindi talaga biro eh, na kahit gaano kalayo, inaabot namin, ginagawa namin ng paraan. Gusto namin ang bawat barangay sa Pilipinas ay mabigyan ng tamang internet connection. At pagkat sinabi namin tamang internet connection, ito po ang pwede kahit ilang mga bata ang nanunod ng YouTube, kahit sabay-sabay kayo nag-Zoom calls. Hindi nagkaka-problema, walang buffering, hindi bumabagal. Ganun po ang teknolohiya ng Converge ICT. And we are now nationwide. Um, very happy that you know we have people from Visayas, Mindanao, North Luzon, Manila. Talagang tutuong nationwide na po kami. Nationwide na po kami. So, and we're also investing heavily in the multiple international connections. Ang ibig sabihin po nito na pag kami bumagsak na isang linya palabas ng Pilipinas, Tuloy-tuloy po rin po ang magandang internet para sa bahay nyo at para sa negosyo nyo. Okay? So, and of course, the many, many partners we have, direct um, negotiations and talks with Google, Facebook, Netflix, Amazon, and many, many international partners to make sure that your fiber connection is the best connection you can get. Best connection that technology can offer right now. So just to show you, we do this very fast. We have our own construction company to make sure that the lines are laid down very fast, very stable. And of course, the restoration process. We are on top of it. Pagka nagka-problema po yan. And just to share with you, we, we do pride ourselves that our owner and founder, uh, Sir Dennis Anthony Uy, started from very, very humble beginnings. Kaya po alam namin ang ibig sabihin ng mangarap at talagang magpawis at magpagod para palaguin ang negosyo. Just to share with you, this was uh, Sir Dennis a few years ago when he started his business in Pampanga, Angeles. He was out of college then and nagsimula po siya sa Betamax. So sa mga tito at tita dito, ang uh, Yung host natin si Adi, hindi alam yung kung ano yung Betamax. Ay, hindi niya alam kung ano yung Betamax. Pero yung Betamax po kasi yan po ang Netflix namin dati na kailangan namin manghiram ng tape at panuorin. Yan po ang Netflix. At doon po nagsimula si Sir Dennis sa isang malik na negosyo. At ngayon, he's the owner of a multi-billion internet company. So, brings us to right now, I mean, our understanding of the aspirations of businesses and kaakibat, kaakibat po namin kayo para pagandahin ang negosyo nyo through technology. So, alam mo kasi ang dami-daming mga magandang solutions right now here in online selling, food, property, rental, content creation, and, and these companies invest billions of dollars to make sure you have the relevant tools for you. Pero sa totoo lang, kung hindi maganda ang fiber connection nyo sa negosyo nyo, sa bahay nyo, mababali wala lahat ng technology because you need the foundation of a best uh, fiber connection that you can get. So I'm going to be wrapping up right now. Um, we're working tirelessly to bring this connection to businesses and we... Proud to say we assist in nation building for, for bringing technology together. We want to build communities for institutions and do sessions such as this to educate micro SMEs through various activities. So um, we service retail, education, food establishments, government, and BPOs. So I'll be ending my my session right now. I will I'll be ending my slide right now. And and again, I mean auspuso po akong nagpapasalamat na kasama namin kayo ngayon uh, during this session. And and stay back, relax. Uh, we have a great great speaker for you today. We have a very capable, very beautiful host to walk you through it. 
And huwag yung kalimutan na may raffle pa tayo sa dulo. So maraming mga ganap na mangyayari. And you also have your um, breakout sessions. So you can have discussions with our salespeople of the capabilities of uh, Converge ICT. So with that, um, I'd like to say um, thank you sa inyong lahat. And turning it over to Adi. Good afternoon. Thank you so much, Sir Blue, for that kind and very insightful introduction. And for the record, alam ko po kung ano yung Betamax. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now that we have heard from our national sales director, we have something to show you to officially introduce how Converge Business can help our SMEs. Everyone, let's watch this. Introducing Converge FlexiBiz. Be in control with your daily connection needs for maximum productivity. With its time of day technology, you can boost your connectivity when you need it the most. Customize your connection's performance to fit your business needs. Have it at an all-time peak or adjust speeds during hours of the day, whatever your business needs to support. Enjoy value for your money with a budget-friendly, reliable, and flexible package made for you. No data cap. Stream on pure fiber connection that you deserve. This is perfect to manage our costs, especially business is picking up. Another thing that this pandemic has become an advantage on our end is it accelerated the need for this technology. This is the kind of customized service that could turn trying times into thriving ones. It is a worthy investment because it is made for us, for you. Converge FlexiBiz. It's time to take control. Contact us to know more. sure that you all know the perks of having Converge. And as we live in the age of technological revolution, we need the most flexible internet to boost our productivity. And Converge offering such products is a great start. Hindi ba? So now it's time to learn more about the basic about our topic for today. All right. So now to provide us with the knowledge and power to succeed, let us welcome our very special guest, the CEO and COO of Malnisa Ventures Corporation, Monica and Marlon Malnisa. Hey, good afternoon. It's really nice to be with you this afternoon. My name is Marlon and uh, I'm with uh, Monica. I can also say that. Yeah, this is Monica. She's the CEO of our family business known as the Molmisa Ventures Corporation. Probably, Mamaya, we will share more about the Molmisa Ventures. But um, I just want to ask you, know, how are you today? Okay, can you chat on our group chat? Kamusta kayo? In one word, how would you describe your emotions? Oh, your feelings? Amazing. You're amazing. Now, ako, if I may put this in one word, anong, ano ko? I'm awesome. Okay, I feel awesome. <laughs> Okay, but probably some some of you know you answered it no. Mamaya babasahin namin yung mga chat niyo, but probably sa inyo sinasabi niyo ngayon that you are disturbed, um you are bouncing back from the pandemic yeah. and uh, I we are with you. You know, we are with you because again, because of COVID-19, I believe that for the past 2 years I tell you that COVID-19 is a game changer. It has changed the way we live, especially our business and uh, we are we were forced to go from in the office and on? online, di ba? Parang uh, because of that, no, maraming mga businesses na nagsara. And uh, because of that, no, we always get 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 ano, no, questions yeah. from our clients and especially normal people sa mga pages namin. Meron mga tanong. And uh, one of the questions na natanggap namin is this. Okay? Yeah. Anong... Actually, those questions kasi nga, we're yeah. sorry different businesses and what oh. is training so this one ito yung madalas namin nare-receive yeah. what will happen in the next coming years ang hirap nun yeah. diba ang hirap sagutin nun number two 
Is it good to put up a business? Okay ba na ngayon? Uh, pwede bang i-hold off muna? Number three, how can I make my business thrive in the current pandemic situation? Kung may yeah. business ka na, paano mo siya isusustain? Exactly. And uh, because of that, no, we were forced to create a module, a program uh, called the Next Normal Leadership. And uh, with that, in the context of a business, uh, for business leaders, for micro, small, medium entrepreneurs, we created this program. And right now, we will answer that question. Yung tanong na yun na parang how to be into them your post-pandemic business plan. Okay? And let me just share with you three things. Tatlong bagay lang. The first one is for you to thrive, you have to... Think ahead. To think ahead. You know, think ahead. And we say think ahead. That great entrepreneurs see and create the future. They are visionaries. Yeah, they are visionaries. And uh, if you are an entrepreneur and before you put up or create your business model, you have to see first the future. So, paano mo may kita yun? Let me just share with you a story. And this is the story of the Disneyland. Okay? <laughs> Imagine the Disneyland. The, um, the question is, bakit meron Disneyland? Can you chat on our group chat? Yeah, chat nyo nga, chat nyo nga. Bakit meron Disneyland? You know, some of you are asking or saying, no, na parang, oh, may Disneyland because of entertainment. Yeah. You know, or some of them, probably, sumasagot ngayon na, um, it's because of family. What? Bonding, recreation, or leisure, lahat yon tama, okay? But there's another one na bakit meron Disneyland is because through Disneyland, they get behavioral data, okay? When I say behavioral data, merong mga CCTV na nakatutok sa mga tao and uh, they just put up a, a spot kung saan yung mga kanilang uh, Disney movies nandoon. And uh, because of that, kung ano yung madalas na pinupuntahan ng mga tao, inaaral nila kung anong ginagawa, anong reaction ng mga tao. And uh, with those behavioral data, nagkakaroon sila ng thinking na or question in mind na, gawin kayo natin to ng part 2. Okay? Yes. Gawin kayo natin to ng sequel. Itong Frozen at marami pang iba. And that's what we call behavioral data. And because again, I tell you, if you are an entrepreneur, data is the new trend. So the question is, okay, this is what we call the trend spotting. The question is, what are the secrets, no? Or the best practices in terms of the data yes. or trend spotting? Ano nga ba, Monica? Many Colors, sabi nila, ano pa yung mga behaviors na dapat mo tinitingnan? What are the trend spotting secrets yeah. in terms of behavior? Number one is that sustained behaviors. Mm -hmm. Just to explain, ano ba yung sustained behaviors? Ano ba yung mga behaviors nung pre-pandemic na ginagawa nila, tapos post-pandemic na after ng pandemic, patuloy pa rin nilang ginagawa? One example would be, if you're planning to put up a... Uh, Traveling towards the business because mm -hmm. that's a sustained behavior, diba? We want to travel, we want to explore the world, we want to bond with our families and all. So even though after the pandemic, tuloy-tuloy pa rin siya, pero you have to consider, kung ito yung po-consider niyang itata yung business, kailangan malalim din. Kasi sabi nga natin, we have to be become visionary. Kailangan malalim yung bulsa natin. Kasi what if mag-stop na naman in terms of the pressure sa government, okay, wala na naman muna mag-travel and tour since it's category 4. So that's an example of sustained behavior. The second behavior is that yung transform behavior. Behaviors na transform behaviors, ano yung mga behaviors na ginagawa nila? Pre-pandemic, na post-pandemic, kaginagawa pa rin nila, pero probably may alternatives, may additional. One example would be if you're in the food industry, you're building food carts, you have to always to consider na kahit na, yes, nagbago na yung panahon, binago ng COVID, kailangan may dine-in options pa rin yan. Mm -hmm. Kasi, kung halimbawa ako, kung convenience lang, di ba, pwede naman ako pa-deliver na lang sa bahay, pero kasi we miss the the company of each other na kahit na di ba hindi pa sobrang down yung covid numbers pero gusto natin na magbond makausapin magkaroon ng relationship to build relationships up with each other so that's a transform behaviors and lastly the third behavior is that collapse behaviors ano ba yung behavior na mo, uh, hindi siya parang ginagawa siya pero ngayon completely it's stop it's peace there have been alternatives. Mm -hmm. So in terms of building your business, in terms of trend spotting, you have to consider yung online payments nyo. Yeah. You have to consider, meron ba ng options for that? Kasi isipin nyo, before, di ba, we are into cash, cash basis lahat. Pero di ba, ngayon, 
because of the COVID restrictions, pipila tayo. So, may risk ng people. Tapos, magpipin pa tayo dun sa ATM. Tapos, paglalabas yung money. So, hawak pa natin. Ang daming transfers. Mm -hmm. eh, 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 kung halimbawa, you have online payments, you have online payment methods, kung baga, iaanan lang dyan, ibibigay na lang siya. So, there's no risk of contact. In terms of contact. And it, yeah. because the government also, in terms of them, yung policies nila, they are urging us to go cashless. So that's an example of a collapse behavior that you need to look out for your business. Exactly. And uh, the key here is really the information. Yes. Okay? You need to get this data in a lot of information. Uh, what do you call that? Parang information bank. Okay? <laughs> it's something like you data can bank. yeah, you can get it from a mentor. You can get it from the people, directly from the people. Or you can read a lot of books. But the thing here is that you cannot collect data if we stop learning yes. that's why we need not no we, we never we should not stop learning okay yes. never never stop learning and this leads us to the second point no for you to create your business model and that is what we call think, think across okay and we say think across is about how great entrepreneurs are becoming yes. as learners yes. okay as learners and uh, that is why, no, marami mga nagtatanong sa amin itong same question na sinasabi namin. And uh, if you are wondering, anong sasagot niya, Sir Marlon? Oh, yeah, and uh, you know, kaya tinasin na sagot, one time may sinagot tayo, sinabi ko, I do not know, I'll figure it out. Okay? <laughs> so I'll figure it out because again, with this kind of thinking, with this kind of, of mindset, it is where I I embed in my, my life na parang I do not know everything. Yes. And uh, this is my way to listen. This is my way to learn. And that's what we call the thinking across. Thinking, uh, thinking across is meaning, me meaning it's about, you know, learning from different uh, kinds of people. But you need to also learn from the right people, yes. the right connections. And who are these right connections that yes. we need to talk to before we build our post-pandemic uh, business plan? Yes. Sino nga ba itong mga to? The it's not one way. It's always two ways. So one of the connection is that connect with seasoned entrepreneurs. Yeah. Sino ba yung parang talagang matagal na nasa business? Talagang nag-thrive yung business nila. Kahit post-pandemic, nandiyan pa rin yung business nila. So that's one. Second one is that leaders in the industry, if you want to go to food, fashion, travel, sino ba yung mga top leaders in the mm -hmm. industry? Listen to their podcasts, listen to their events, talk to them, have coffee kung meron kayo connection. The third one is that listen to the people on the ground on your yeah. target market. Of course, they are our target market. Sila yung customers natin. We have to listen to them. So, yeah, regardless yeah. of who they are. And that is why we should always learn from them. You know, great entrepreneurs in the next coming years are not those who have many titles on their names. You know, mga kama, kama, kama. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You can have it. You can, you can advance in your career. But a great entrepreneur are those who are willing to learn, relearn, and unlearn. And uh, because why we need to learn, relearn, and unlearn? Because again, the world is changing. changing. Okay, the world is changing, and that's why we need to also go into the third point. Now, you no, know, this is what we call thinking again. Okay, think again. So you think again is about how entrepreneurs are becoming innovators it's and. Innovation. Innovation is the key. Innovate. And uh, isa sa natutunan namin no, that many, many people as we read books, at the same time, no, not only read books, but also with the first-hand experience with the uh, great business people that we've met for the past 12 years or 10 years, uh, what we have realized is that they are really good at letting go. Okay? Let go. Let go. Okay? <laughs> and, and move on. Okay, can you type in our group chat, move on. Okay, mm -hmm. move on, move on, move on. And this is really, really important because again, because of traffic situation, you know, nag-work pa ba yung business natin kapag traffic? You know, you have to ask yourself, you know, baka yung ating... Bus yes, yeah. baka yung business model natin is not fit now with the traffic situation. That's why many business owners are now going into this what we call hybrid workplace. Ito yung tinatawag ni Monica na transform behavior. Hindi pa rin nawala yung in-person. Some people, they still love in-person. Uh, they still love to work at home. But there are people na parang mas prefer nila to work from home. And uh, that is why... Um, these are the companies na subscribe sa different online platforms. And uh, isa pa mga problem, no, recently, yung ang tinatawag na? Limited marketed business opportunities. Yeah. 
by their limited opportunity. So what are we going to do? Side of the box. Exactly. They are, this is what we call, the ba, ngayon, meron ng ASEAN integration in which Southeast Asian countries go in and out. Kumbaga, they are free to market their goods and services outside of the country. That's why it's important to have a strong internet connection. Yeah, you yeah. have to be connected everywhere. Yo, we need to have strong connection. And I tell you this, no? And dito sabihin namin, most of our businesses are, subs are subscribed dito sa Converge, yes. no? Uh, Monica. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And, and, and imagine, imagine, no? This one is a, is a challenge for us na magkaroon ng, ng strong uh internet connection that's why I highly recommended it on converge it's not because it is uh sponsored by converge but um tested hindi kami pinapahiya ng converge yes. Yeah. Sa meeting, yes 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 sa meeting okay and also you know uh you have to update your business model in terms of your online payment yes. <laughs> make available options online na parang pwedeng tumanggap ng different currency so you have to have a strong connection because of the online play, the yes online and uh, and this one you can go to your bank and ask them about the programs that they have for your online payment but isa pang mga challenge na hindi, hindi ko makakalimutan Monica when I was starting and I think you you know this already no parang uh, I started at home you know with 1500 in my pocket that that's the 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 first capital and pumunta ako sa DTI parang hindi ko alam ang gagawin ko and uh, I started at home because wala akong pangrenta and uh, because of high operational expenses um paano ko paano ko magsisimula and uh, many business owners would say and would agree uh, with me with this one na isa sa mga talagang kumakain ng gastos ay yung tinatawag na renta, office rent. And uh, that is why the new trend right now is the virtual office. If you are a startup and uh, limited lang yung capital mo, you can start with the virtual office. What is good about it is that you can register your business uh, with the legit and accredited uh, business address and corporate address pa siya. That's important pala. Kasi yeah. The, like, government agencies would ask for occupancy permit. Kapag yeah. nasa bahay, minsan mahirapan pa tayong kumuha. Exactly. Oo. Uh -oh. Parang chine-check pa nila yan, yung mga fire mm -hmm. permit and also um, with the virtual office, you can uh, have it. no? Yes. And another thing is you can also subscribe with the virtual office at the low rent cost. So yes. imagine, di ba, kung they would rent a space na two months deposit and that is equal to 60,000 okay and may fit in pa oh. with the office so that's 100,000 no 150,000 for you to start but if you are a startup you can you can have a virtual office now with only 1,500 a month um you can continue your business and at the same time you can do your business anywhere, That's everywhere. While you're taking care of your young ones, if you're a mom, the back, you can yeah. take care of your child at home. You can do it. As long as you have internet connection and all, you can do it anywhere. Exactly. So that is the these are the benefits of virtual office, and this is the new trend. And uh and, and you know, just to tell you honestly, we are we we put up that kind of virtual office because uh, with my story, uh, I was frustrated na wala akong office, and now this is my way to help uh, small medium enterprises or entrepreneurs rather uh to have their uh, to jumpstart their dream. No, yes. and because actually tong virtual office, it is not permanent you know ang goal natin is for you to have your own office so you know and for you to have your own building yes. later on that is your that is that should be the goal pero if you're a startup you can start with the virtual office and that's why uh here's the thing may freebie ako sa kanila okay <laughs> um with, with the busy schedule gagawin ko ng time ito you know if you want to put up your business to register your business um we can set a schedule for free okay and uh you can uh have my time you know i'll help you step by step kung paano nyo register in yung business for that yes exactly hindi hindi ka clueless on what you're you're doing yeah exactly so that's why uh you can screenshot okay yung aming email admin at monmisa.com and the number uh sa screening you you can contact it and uh, let's set a meeting and uh, let's build your dream but here's the thing you know what i would like to you would like to emphasize is that i believe na lahat po sa atin, we 
uh, na saktan tayo because of COVID or because of pandemic, uh, may pag-asa pa. You know, habang may buhay, may pag-asa pa. Bangon lang tayo. Post-pandemic. Yeah, post-pandemic. Exactly. And uh, with that, no, think ahead. Think across and think, think again. again. And uh, I hope that you are ready for the future. So with that, maraming maraming salamat. Keep connected on my Facebook page. Ito rin yung aking, uh, you know, website, Marlon, or aming website pala, molmisa.com. Uh, on my website, marlonmolmisa.com, you can also subscribe. And I think Monica will stay here yes. to answer all of your questions. And it was a nice to meet. It's, it was nice meeting you online. So hopefully, uh, magkita kits tayo uh, in in person and soon. God bless sa inyong business and God bless sa ating lahat. Thank you so much. much Marlon and Monica for that very informative talk you know I really learned so much and I hope that everyone here today also learned so so much from them you know it's very very important that you really have the right people around you you know to get advice from to you know because of course especially if you're a new entrepreneur you're really not going to know what exactly you're doing and you know what it's really okay to ask for help so i really love that that's something that marlon and monica actually offer so yeah that's definitely something that i'm sure a lot of entrepreneurs would really value and you know don't be afraid to ask for help you know don't forget to advice from whoever you like and i really like Uh, what Arlette and Monica said about really finding people in the same industry, doing the same business, and really figuring out how they did it and really learning from them as well. All right, so now that we have heard from our dear speakers, it is now time for us to stretch our backs and relax with a game. Yes, I'm sure you are all excited to play a game. Let me know in the chat box if you are ready. Yes, let me know. I, wow, G. <laughs> Hello to Maria Nemi. Gina, Gina daw siya. Ayan. Okay, so if you are all ready, here are the mechanics of the game. So this game is called Four Picks and One Word. So I will be showing you four pictures on screen that all share a common word. So the goal is to find the common word based on the number of letters provided at the beginning of the game. So the word length will also be shown under the four pictures and the first person to guess the word in the chat box wins the prize. Okay, so the correct word will be displayed once someone gets it right. So we have a little hint. Some words are related to converge or relevant to today's topic okay and now for the prizes we will be three 500 pesos worth of gc so you have three chances of winning okay so now if there are no other questions wow on that minute game the game ready push go okay let's do it okay let us begin our game let us bring out the first set of pictures yeah so We're flashing four pictures on screen. So the word you have to look for has I'm having a word that go one, two, three, four, five, six, ten, ten letters. You sagot natin. Ayan. Okay, guys, time to guess. Okay. All right. So now, meron na palang nakakuha ng ng correct answer. So let us see what is the right answer. Let us flash it on screen. Operation. And the winner is Just Dado de los Reyes! Congratulations! Ang bilis mo mag-type, ang bilis rin ang internet mo because you were the first one to get the correct answer. Okay, congratulations to you. Don't You just won 500 worth of GCs. Okay, so now we have, don't worry guys, may chance pa kayo. Okay, so let's bring out the next set of photos. Ayan, let's look at it. Four photos. Ay, mahaba. Ay, mas mahaba yung word na to. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twelve. Twelve letters naman. Ay, grabe. Okay, guys. Oh, Mag-guess lang kayo dyan. Okay. Oh, we actually already saw the correct answer. And the answer is... Organization. Ayan. And the... The winner is Ilumay Ortega! 
Artega, congratulations! <laughs> so, Artega, you just won 500 worth of GCs. Ayan. Okay, so now may chance pa kayo. We have one more set of photos for this game. So, let's bring out the last four photos. Bilisan nyo. Mag-guess. Guess lang kayo dyan. Makukuha nyo rin to. Ay, short yung word na to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. Ayan, eight. Let us see. Sino kaya makakakuha? <laughs> eight letters. Okay. So, let's see what the answer is. Building! Ayan, building yung sagot. So, congratulations to our winner. Edalia Bel Salubre. Wow, we need naman ng mga names ng winners today. Okay, congratulations to all our winners today. You just won 500 worth of GCs each. But don't worry yung mga hindi pa nananalo. You actually have a chance to win in our raffle draw later on, okay? So once again, congratulations to all the winners of our game. And I hope you all had fun. Sana naman uh, na-refresh kayo, uh, diba, with our game. And thank you so much to everyone who participated. Ayan. So I'm sure you're all having so much fun right now. And of course, the fun doesn't stop there because we also have a very special promo for today where those who apply during today's event will get free installation service. Oduva, what a great deal. Interested applicants must fill out the application form and submit requirements within seven days to avail of the free installation promo. So you guys must be part of the registration database to qualify. Now for viewers who are interested to apply for Converge Internet, we will also be discussing more details later sa ating breakout session. So please express Hi, your intent to apply and ask your queries to our Converge representatives in the breakout right. session. Also a reminder that we have a feedback form that we encourage everyone to answer after the program. Now the one with the winning feedback form gets to win 1,000 worth of EGCs. And of course, stay tuned because we still have 5,000 total worth of EGCs to be given away later on kaya abangan niyan. Also don't forget that we are on Facebook so you can like and follow our Facebook page that is Converge for SME for more business tips and updates. And again, I would like to remind everyone present in the Zoom to please yourselves in Zoom to your registered full name so we can recognize you. Please be reminded as well to mute your microphone to avoid unnecessary noise during the program. Now, if you need any assistance with this, you may chat with any of our co-hosts in the Zoom or simply type your questions in the chat box. So now, let us now hear stories from our satisfied customers and how Converge helped boost their business. Everyone, let's watch this. So my name is Bianca, Bianca Cortez, and I am part of a family business which is called Biancas. <laughs> We're a bakery in Delhi as more of an online business. Uh, we've been around since 2016 and have been um, uh, doing the business since to both customers, direct customers and retailers. But pandemic happened, uh, it's been two years and well, praise God we're able to still uh, keep afloat in our business because we have done a lot of steps so that we are very much accessible online. Quite a few people would ask us, oh, how can I get your bread or can I, is there a way that I can have my bread tomorrow and stuff like that. So we all had to learn how to navigate around what people want and what we, what we are capable of also. Because we're still a small business, but thanks really to technology, it was a lot easier to uh, coordinate a lot of things from ordering your supplies online, from um, coordinating with the customer on what they want, delivering it through all the third-party couriers that are all online also. So um, all these uh, different um, opportunities, you really just have to find a way to make it all work for you because, you know, it, it's there. For us, it's very important that we have good internet, especially when we do the bookings also for our customers because when we deliver to them, we have to make sure that um, we do it correctly <laughs> and we do it on time and um, we'll be able to 
do the multiple bookings properly also because if we can be very efficient in doing this it also helps us with our operational costs and uh, also makes our customers happy because we're able to provide to them the service that they want in the best way we can. much Bianca spread and I'm sure marami sa inyo ang may questions for all of the information presented today. So that is why we are now going to proceed with our Q&A session. So you may type in your questions in our chat box if you have any queries, now is the time to do so. And for this segment, we will welcome back our speaker to answer all of your questions. So let us welcome back Miss Monica. Hi everyone! So I hope my microphone is clear right now. All right, yes, so I'm really glad. You. Yeah, I'm really glad to be here with you right now to answer your questions. Yes. Okay. Are you ready for our questions, Miss Monica? Medyo madami to. <laughs> sure. Curious comment today. Okay. So for the first question, paano pa rin makakasiguro na maayos pa rin ang negosyo sa panahon ng pandemic? at iba pang di inaasahang pangyayari. Ayan, bigat ng question na to. Actually, oo nga, eh, nabigat na ako sa first question pa lang. Pero uh, just to tell you honestly, paano makakasiguro na maayos ko rin? To be honest, no one really knows. Like, no one really can predict what will happen next. So, sabi nga ng mga ibang business leaders, we are currently... In a VUCA world, when we say VUCA, it is volatile, it means unpredictable, uncertain, parang hindi tayo sigurado, complex, madaming interconnected na parang mga nangyayari, diba? even dun sa, en- sa environment natin, yung policies ng government, even yung sa pandemic situation, it's really con- complex. And sometimes it's also ambiguous. It means um, parang sometimes we lack clarity on awareness about certain situations. So uh, with that, how are we going to battle yung mga sinasabi nga nating mga challenges na yon? Paano natin masisiguro na maayos pa rin yung negosyo? Number one, with volatility, yung vision natin, ensure natin kahit na mindset ba, yung sinasabi natin na mindset lang siya, pero it starts with with mindset eh. Mindset is everything. We have to embrace in terms of our mindset na yung change constant siya. So we have to become visionaries with our businesses. How are we going to innovate our business? How are we going to progress with the business? Ah, saan ba patungo yung business na to? So um, battle yung volatility na yun nga unpredictable with vision. Number two, yung uncertainty na parang sabi natin uncertain tayo with situations. Kaya ang namin sinasabi palagi na data is everything kasi we have to invest on data. We have to invest on information. Kaya nga, di ba, importante yung internet connection, staying updated, staying connected. Kasi ito lang yung way natin para malaman natin ano ba yung nangyayari sa paligid natin, ano ba yung nangyayari sa business world in terms of economics, ano ba yung nangyayari, economic policies. Kasi yun yung mga factors na nagpiplay sa business eh. Number three, in terms of yung complexity, we have to be clear clarity. We have to network, collaborate. Hindi na uso ngayon yung more of competition. Kung hindi tulong-tulong tayo, we're into collaboration. Businesses should be collaborative instead of competitive. Although yes, there is friendly competition, there is the market is still competitive, but we have to collaborate as well with those other people. Lastly, in terms of yung ambiguity, we have to we have to be agile. We have to be flexible. Kumbaga, yun lang naman yung only way eh. Paano natin makasisiguro na maayos yung business natin? We have to promote people. We have to hire people that could help us out. We have to be agile in terms of our platforms. Kailangan ready tayo kung halimbawa magsabi ulit yung government lockdown ulit. So, anong gagawin natin? So, kailangan ready tayo dun sa mga changes na yun at any time. So, we have to be ready in those cases. So, I I uh, I hope that answered that question, yung first one. Medyo ma- bigat siya. So, medyo mabigat din yung answer ko for the first one. So, I think that was a really great answer actually. I think the, the best thing we got is really to just expect change, right? Yes. As ironic as that sounds. And mm. you need to be ready to just go with wherever your industry is going, where the trend's going, the current situation. And I think that's really great advice as well. So we have another question. Ready ka na ba? <laughs> for our next question. So, paano matitiyak ng isang negosyo ang pagiging handa 
financially sa kabila ng epekto ng pandemic. So in terms of financial management, I think medyo gasgas na to pero one of the recommendations madalas ng kahit sino na business owner or business mga kumbaga business gurus na they have been there in the industry, seasoned businessman or in terms of research everything. Number one, you have to have your contingency fund. You have to have your emergency fund as a business. Mas malalim yung bulsa, sabi nga natin, mas maganda. So kung ready ka at least six months doon sa lahat ng operational costs mo, um, at least at least safe ka doon. Kung halimbawa hindi kikita yung business at this time, so meron kang panggastos in terms of yung pasahod sa mga tao, yung mga in terms of yung um, needed mo to cover up your other operational costs. So you have to have your contingency fund. Number to cut back on the unnecessary expenses. So we have to prioritize. Ano ba yung mga needed ngayon sa business? Ano ba yung mga needed natin ngayon? Kasi that's the only way that we can also thrive. Pero syempre, hindi lang dapat yung cut back on the expenses, dapat may savings. Paano ka makakasave kung wala kang income? Number three, you have to adapt and build other means for income. So dito, na tumat- dito talaga heavy on innovation. Yung sinasabi natin, you have to innovate and you have to adapt. Kasi that's the only way that you can earn more, that you can have income. Kaya, kaya yung ibang, for example, sa food yung mga, um, like for example, di bakit hindi nag-try, bakit nahihirapan yung for other na maliliit na small medium enterprises doon sa in terms of the food industry? It's because, kasi nakita namin, Walang other means eh. Para kung halimbawa nag-lockdown, walang other means for them to deliver yung services, to deliver yung goods. So we have to invest as well on the other means paano ma-expand yung income. So yun yung mga things that you can do para matiyak na financially um, ready ka in terms of the pandemic. Okay, great. Thank you so much for that answer. And of course, we have another question. Mm-hmm advantages at disadvantages ng work from home and on-site sa isang negosyo. Wow! <laughs> That's a very interesting talk. Kasi um, as, as business owners, we have our biases also. <laughs> Kung ano ba yung uh, ano, dun tayo sa um, work at the office. Both have pros and cons naman. So, I think yung some of the pros, for example, ng um, working from home. Number one, more flexibility in terms of time. Kasi di ba, you can make other appointments, you can schedule other errands kasi you're, you're working from home. Pangalawa, lesser uh, interruptions dun sa meetings, sa chit-chat. Kasi kapag, yun naman yung, kumbaga parang, sep- kumbaga kung ano yung pros ng, ano, ng, ng, um, work from home, yun naman yung cons ng work from the office. So, I, at least, um, you would know. So, at least, yun sa, for example, yung flexibility, sa, syempre, pag nasa office ka, mas limited kasi yung time mo devoted dun sa office. In terms naman of dun sa um, interruptions from meetings, chit-chat, syempre, di ba kapag nasa office, mas madaling magpatawag ng meeting, so nakaka-take pa yun ng time. In terms of pros, dun sa work from home, um, no more commute, kumbaga, no more commute, lesser time, lesser expenses, ganun din lesser expenses dun sa mga susutin mo kasi hindi ka na mag yung wardrobe mo, so lesser din siya na expenses. Of course, more time with the family. Pero I think um one of the cons naman niya, and which is the pros naman of being in the office is that Minsan kasi lonely to work from home, eh. it could be very lonely if wala kang kausap, if wala kang other workmates to be with. And sometimes, yun nga eh, it's easy to misread kapag halimbawa lalong-lalo na, hindi ready yung infrastructure ng kabila. Or if you're working outside of the metro, tapos parang it's difficult, some some of the areas hindi pa rin ganun kaganda yung internet connection. So it's, it's very easy to misread kapag nagpo-communicate kayo online. Um, sometimes then, um, kumbaga, there is more anxiety and pressure, kumbaga, kapag doon sa, ano, sa work from home. Kasi nga, walang, walang, ano, separation eh. Work time ba, or, ano, office time ba, or family time ba. So, I think yun lang yung mga some of the cons of it. So, in terms of that, most have pros and cons, and we have to weigh lang, which is more appropriate for us. Pero, either way, regardless of the situation, we have to be ready to... To, to accept yung telecom to, kumbaga yung mga telecommuting act yung out of the telecommuting act that we have to work dun sa ano we have to work online or we have to work from home and we have to work in the office so regardless kung ano yung magiging policies we have to be ready in terms of our business 
Yes, that's really great advice. And I really like what you said. Na kailangan talaga pag-isipan mo, ano ba yung bagay talaga sa business ko? Mm-hmm. Work from home ba or work from office? So I really like that piece of advice. Okay, next question. What concerns do you have about your business as we proceed through recovery and continued operations during this pandemic? Mm-hmm. So I think yung sa challenges naman or concerns probably madali lang kasi yung mga controllable sa business eh. Kasi aware ka nga eh. I think the biggest challenges that we have are mostly the uncontrollables. Ano ba yung mga uncontrollables? Like for example, um, number one na lang yung po- policies nga. Um, economic policies saka political policies. Like for example, when we say na tumataas sa actually very ano kami doon eh. Dagaabang talaga kami every time na sasabihin ba ng government na ano tayo, um, kumbaga level 2 or level 4, level 3. Kasi doon magmamatter kung ano yung mangyayari sa business. Especially, uh, one of our businesses is in training, training and development. Siyempre, kapag nasa mas mataas na level, no in-person. So, ma- maaari makancel yung mga in-person gatherings namin or mga in-person na talks namin and training. So, we, we want, that's one of the concerns that we have. Number two, probably, yung nangyayari kasi in terms of the general economic policies, like for example, ano ba yung nangyayari the inflation? Siyempre kasi tumataas yung goods and services, yung inflation. So, the, those are the things that are hard to control. Thirdly, o siguro yung mechanical, dun sa halimbawa, depende dun sa clients. Kasi like for example, for us, um, yung, yung halimbawa, we're doing the business na online. Pero yung mga meetings namin, hindi ready yung infrastructure nila, hindi ready yung mga, yung, 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 maaring yung computers or internet connection and all. So, example, if you're um, far away, tapos wala pang gano'n na ready na infrastructure, medyo mahirap din to do business. So, these are the things that um, our, yung primary concerns namin. So, hopefully, ito naman, I think, um, little by little, we have just, kung halimbawa, hindi man natin probably makontrol yung mga situations na yun, since, since they are uncontrollable, nag-ano na lang tayo, hanap na lang tayo ng ways to adjust and means, uh, means to adjust dun sa mga bagay na yun. Yes, really, really great advice. Okay, so we have one more question left for you. So, ano ang mga pangunahing bagay na dapat i-consider ng mga business owners bilang preparation sa epektong dala ng pandemic? Two things. Uh, number one, yun nga, medyo gas-gas, adapt and innovate. There's no other way but to adapt and innovate. So, be business ready. The only way to make our business pandemic proof is to be ready for the future. Which means, kahit ano yung situation, be ready to wait for it. Number two, um, invest in people. Invest in your people. Kasi sabi nga ng ano, studies, the next big thing as after the pandemic is the mental health crisis. So, the only way kasi for us to be able to continue our business is for our, if our business, kasi if our people is also, kumbaga, in, in the, the ready mental state. So, we have to invest in the people. We have to support the people. Ano ba yung crisis? So, we have to support our people sa business natin. Magpatuloy din sila dun sa ginagawa natin. So, I think those are the two things that we can do to be pandemic proof dun sa business natin. I really like what you said. I, I actually didn't expect you to say to invest in people because there are really a lot of companies who don't really look into that as much anymore. Bottom line, they just look at sales. Pero maganda talaga na, na-mention mo rin na, yeah, importante talaga yung na-feel ng tao mo, ano ba yung state nila. So I, I, I really appreciate that. As well. So that was actually our last question. Uh, do you have any last pieces of advice to give us? Yeah, uh, probably not really just an advice, but an encouragement. But uh, I hope that it it may be a daunting task to start your business after the pandemic, or to jump start your business again, or to restart your business. It may be a daunting task, but it's doable. There are some people that have started their business during the pandemic. Some of our businesses were actually put up during the pandemic, and we ended up great. As long as you are ready to adapt to change, as long as you're willing 
to adapt, to change, to let go and move on of the traditions, tapos accept the new things, tapos think outside of the box. Each, every, kasi every, in every situation, in every crisis nga, there is an opportunity. So there is lots of opportunity for us. Don't see it as limited. Ito lang, kumbaga, even though you're at home, you're working from home, if you want to start your business at home, you can do it. There are great possibilities there. So, yun lang yung parang siguro words of motivation or advice before I end. Yes, thank you so much, Miss Monica, for your words of wisdom. So, we really did learn so, so much from you. That, of course, wraps up our Q&A segment. Thank you so much for joining us, Miss Monica. Thank you. So, we are now going to move on to our breakout sessions. With this, we have our Teachers to lead each breakout room. Now we have our representatives here who will be answering your questions today. Now feel free to ask questions as we put each of you in your respective breakout rooms. And of course, we will be having our raffle segment later on, so please be back here in our main room after your breakout session. So we will now invite you to your breakout rooms. Please accept the invitation that pops up on your screen and you can proceed by clicking join. Now, if you missed the prompt, look for the breakout session icon below and click on the room you want to join. We will be closing the breakout room and you will automatically be brought back here to our main room. So please don't leave the meeting or you might miss out on our raffle. All right? Okay, everyone, let's start with our breakout session and we will see you all back here in the main room later on. Bye, everyone. Enjoy your breakout session.
Yeah, yeah, why? What do you want me to do? Welcome back to our main room. And of course, thank you so much to our dear representatives for taking the time to join us today. Now, I hope you guys learned a lot and enjoyed our breakout session. And we have now come to the most awaited part of our program, the raffle draw. Ayan, alam namin, excited na excited kayo sa ating raffle draw. But of course, we have some rules for our raffle draw. First off, you must be present here in our main room to qualify for the raffle. So if you see your names appear on screen, just type here or present in the chat box so we can see you. If not, we will have to redraw and pick a new possible winner, okay? Clear ba yun? Sabihin niyo sa akin sa comment section na clear na clear po yun. Pag nag-appear yung name mo sa ating wheel, kailangan mag-chat na kayo kaagad sa chat box that you are here, that you are present, and sayong-sayo na yung prize. Okay? Also, a reminder that your names in Zoom should be renamed to your registered full name so we can recognize you. Alright? So, let's check the chat. Ayan, clear. clear. Ay, may nag-present na po. Mamaya po yung present pag kayo po yung nanalo. Okay. All right. So all uh, okay. So I won't keep you guys waiting any longer. Magraffle na po tayo. So for this first raffle draw, we are going to be giving away one thousand worth of EGCs to one lucky winner. Okay, I'm sure you guys are all excited. So let's bring out the wheel of names. Madame po yung names natin, kasi ang dami dami nyo today. Ayan. So let's see our winner. We're gonna be picking one winner to win 1,000 GCs. Let's see, and the winner is... Angeles Marazzo! Ayan, Angeles Marazzo, nandito ka. Let us know in the chat box if you are here, if you are present. Ayan, mag-type ka na, bilisan mo. Ayan, ayan, may nagkukongratulate, pero hindi pa namin alam kung present po yung ating winner. Okay. Angeles. Ayan, hintayin natin si Angeles Narazo. Okay, let's... Okay, Ange... Angeles Narazo, according to... Ay, nandito po ako. Ay, sino to? Um... Guys, dapat yung name nyo sa Zoom, ha? Itong name na to. Okay, so if it's not the name... Hmm... Pili na kami ng next winner. Ano, judges? Sa tingin nyo, ano? <laughs> Nakakatawa si Jmar. Next, next, next. Oh. Okay, judges. Kayo na po bahala. Okay, pili tayo ng next winner. Ayan. So, let's see. Bring out the wheel. Ayan. Spin the wheel. Let's see. Sino kaya yung winner? Ayan. And the winner is... Grabbing suspense. Gina Villiers! Gina, are you here? Are you present? Nandito ka ba? Ang dami kong tanong. Mag-type ka na sa chat box. Nandito ka. Ayan, present si Gina! Ayan, congratulations! We won our 1,000 GC. Ayan. Oo, Gina. Nag-chat po si Gina. Ayan. Okay. All right. So the next one, ayan, let's pick our next winner because next up we're going to be giving away 3,000 worth of EGCs to one lucky winner. Grabe ang laki ng prize na to. Okay, let's bring out our wheel. Nasa na yung names? Ayan. Make sure na tama yung... Let's see. And the winner is... Ayan, let's see. Ay! Si Angeles na nakuntan na pili ko kanina. Okay, pili tayo ulit. Angeles na Razo. Okay, next one. Yes, napili na daw. Okay, so let's pick our next possible winner. Grabe, sobrang active niyo bigla sa raffle, ha? Okay, let's see. And the winner is... 
SB Let us know. Okay, let's see. Okay, wala daw si SB Luz. Ayan, let's pick the next possible winner. Okay. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and the winner is... Grabe, may sarili ako ng drum roll. Edward Dolorfino. Ayan. Edward Dolorfino. Are you here? Are you present? Ayan, nandito ba si Edward? Okay, o oh, wala daw si Edward. Pili tayo ng next possible winner. Grabe yung grand prize yung pakamigay natin ngayon. 3,000 worth of EGCs. And the winner is... Sana present to. <laughs> Ferdinand Manuelo! Ferdinand, are you here? Ferdinand, let us know if you are here, if you are present. All you have to do is type in the chat box. Ayan, bilisan mo, Ferdinand, or else pipili kami ng next possible winner. Ayan. <laughs> Ayan, friend! Ah, congratulations, Ferdinand! Ayan, congratulations to you and congratulations to you and our winners today. Ayan, and also to our winners, a Converge representative will be sending you an email within 24 hours to give details on how to claim your prizes. Also, yung mga hindi pa nananalo, okay lang yan because don't forget that we have the last 1,000 worth of GCs to be given away to the one with the most winning feedback, okay? So we really encourage everyone to answer our feedback form right after the event because we, of course, would love to get everyone's feedback and insight. So please do answer the feedback form. Scan this QR code flashing on screen. This is because our team will be screening all of your feedback and you will receive an email from our Converge representatives after the show. All right, that was a jam-packed program, am I right? And I hope you guys all enjoyed today's event as much as I have. So don't forget that we also have a very special promo for today where those who apply during today's event will get free installation service. Oh, what a great deal! Interested applicants must fill out the application form and submit requirements within seven days to avail of free installation promo. So you guys must be part of the registration database to qualify. Now for viewers who are interested to apply for Converge Internet, you can also message us about this and we can help you out with that. And you can also like and follow our Facebook page that's Converge for SME for more business tips and updates. So there you go. We have now come to the end part of our program. And as we have all learned today, as times change, more and more avenues for us to expand our businesses will continue to arise, which is why it's so important to innovate and provide new ways to stay connected. One thing that will never change, however, is our need for steady connection. And with Converge, we can help you maintain constant communication with your audience, continuous creation and consumption of content, while providing you immediate support for your needs. Thank you again for joining us today here at Converge Let's Talk Flexi Business. Once again, I'm Addy, and I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us today. We had a great, great time, and we hope you all have a good day. Bye!